Here's an example of using my Magic Erase macro for a photo paint to quickly clip out some strawberries for a project in CorelDRAW. We'll, we're in full photo paint at the moment and I have three different images of strawberries and what I'm going to do is left click on the image here and my tolerance is set to 12. I'm using my mask wand tool. You press the W key to launch that by the way. And now that I've got part of it selected as you can see there, I'm going to press down the shift key, left click again, and I've added to the selection. I'm going to keep uh, left clicking until I've gotten the shadow areas of that strawberry. Now at any time you can press Control K to quickly have a glance at uh, what you have selected and pressing Control K will bring you out of that mode. That's called paint on mask mode by the way. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a feathering of one in this case and that's instantly cleared away my background. I'm going to do a fringe test just to see how things are looking and I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to delete that and I'll press the auto crop button and that clears away most of the excess space around the strawberry that I don't need in my file. And now what I'm going to do is press the clipboard button. And what that's done is put the strawberry on the clipboard. I'm going to Alt Tab over to uh, CorelDRAW and simply paste it in. Now as of X3 you can paste transparent images directly from Photo Paint into CorelDRAW. So in X4 that'll work as well. Very handy. It saves you the step from exporting to an intermediate format from Photo Paint first. Alright, so we're done with that strawberry. I'm going to close this one image down. We don't need to save it anymore. Now this one here is a fairly high resolution image. I'm going to back away using my F3 key. I'm going to again left click on the white area and I've got most of the outside area selected. I'm going to press down the shift key like we did before just to get into those shadow areas. And if you accidentally select too much like I did there, you can always press Control Z to go back a step. Now, if, for, if you have a di little bit difficult of a selection, all you, can, all you need to do sometimes is press, uh, let's say, the J key, and that'll bring up the Circle Mask tool. And you can add or subtract to an existing mask like that just to get into those fine areas. You can also press the, the Z key to zoom in. And you can always press something like the B key to bring up your mask brush tool and then you can actually paint in a mask just like that. Very handy to know that. Alright, I think we're looking pretty good there. I'm going to press F4, include that in there. You can always press Control K again, just have a quick glance at it. I think we'll be okay. This one I'm going to feather to 2 and I'm not going to bother with the fringe test. I'm going to auto crop it, put it on the clipboard, Go over to CorelDRAW. I pressed um, Alt Tab there, by the way, to go between CorelDRAW and Photo Paint. I press Alt Tab again. Go back to um, Photo Paint. Close that down. We're done with that. And now we have a situation where we've got some black and white behind the this very high resolution strawberry. Um, anytime you can get a high res image, that's a great thing. It gives you the most detail to work with. Now. Because we're at a very high resolution on this one, uh, what I'm going to do is I'll end up picking a feathering of three. Uh, we've got some little gradients in there to select. I'm going to use my mask brush tool just to quickly go in there and, and kind of get into those areas. I'm pressing the Alt key with the mask brush tool, by the way, to change the nib size on the fly. That's pretty handy. Let's go over here. I'm going to close Magic Erase down for a moment and just get in there, go over here, see how things are looking. Go down here, back out a bit. Now we've got a fairly large area here. I'm just going to increase my mask brush size. I went a little bit overboard there, but that's okay, no big deal. We can always zoom in on that area and restore by pressing the control key to, to minus it like that. Plus key will go the other way into it. Let's back out here see what we have. Zoom into the black area a little bit here. And I think what I'm going to do is launch my Magic Erase macro and um, feather it to 3. We'll see what happens here. That's clipped it out reasonably well. I'm going to press uh, F3 to back out. Let's try a fringe test on this one to see how things are looking looks pretty good to me so I'm going to delete that background fringe test piece auto crop it 
put it on the clipboard, head over to uh, Control or Corral Draw using Alt Tab, and paste it in. Now at this point, it's probably a good idea to save your work once in a while, so I'm just going to call it Straw real quickly just to give it, just so we don't have to go back to square one. But we're actually done with Photo Paint at this point, so I'm going to close that down, close Photo Paint. And um, now that we're in Corel Draw, we can scale these down as we need to to complete our design. Uh, we can do some fun stuff with text. I just made a quick little artistic text string there. I've assigned my Alt keys to do text justifications in different ways. Alt plus 1 through 5 along the top left of my keyboard. And I want my text all to be centered, so that would be Alt plus 2. And you can see up here that it's automatically changing depending on what I'm pressing for shortcut keys. I found that to be really helpful in speeding up the process to change text justifications. And over here I'm just going to pick a kind of a crazy fun font. I'm going to break these this artistic text string into two pieces by pressing Control K. And I'm going to just scale this up like that. And try and work these strawberries into the design somehow. You could always, you know, rotate them, uh, flip them over, copy a few around here and there. We may want to um, develop a design that's based on the color scheme that we have here. And easy way to do that. I'm just going to scale this puppy down there. This one looks a little bit odd having the two exact same thing exact same strawberries might be look a little odd something like that and then if we want like a red hue rather than going to the palette over there I'll often use my eyedropper tool left click on a color on an image use the shift key to drop that same hue onto some of their vector shapes I'm going to double click to create a rectangle the size of my document by double clicking on the rectangle tool I'm going to go back to my eyedropper and I'm just grabbing different hues from the strawberries and putting it on to the very background. I might try making that text white in this case. And, you know, again, by changing the color of the background, it can kind of, you know, change the, the mood of things. Uh, and I'm going to launch my little shadow generation macro here. Uh, is it available? Actually, it's not available in my workspace due to the uh, my reduced size. Actually, if I drag this off here like this, let's see what happens. There, got some handy macros. I'm going to go ahead and just grab everything except for the background uh, red piece there. And press my quick shadow generation macro. And now I have a quick shadow that's been made. And it's actually rendered a, a bitmap there. I just added a little bit of um, you know, depth to the image there. Now, of course, some of these uh, bitmaps don't don't really match the other ones. So what I would probably do is I'm going to actually apply a little bit of tone curve to that by going to adjust tone curve. You could go to Photo Paint for these kind of things, or we could have done them before, but um, we can do them now as well. We got a kind of a funny dark area on that one strawberry, but. Uh, we can also try things like maybe brightness, contrast, and intensity. Let's see, that's making that one too dark. Change the contrast a little bit maybe. And you get the idea. Anyway, you just want to kind of make the look make it look a little bit cohesive. Um, yep, so just some fun little things to to, to think about and um, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed.